Stickers have long been used in merchandising. But in 1979, they took a crafty turn with the introduction of decorative stickers. Sticker art soon became a popular hobby, allowing anyone to engage in a little creative embellishment. Stickers can be used to accent greeting cards, photo albums, or add a certain flourish to any project. Every sticker begins with a work of art. The artist transfers the image to a computer and manipulates it until the desired effect is achieved. Next, a sheet of photopolymer goes onto an exposure machine. The technician places a negative of the art on top of the photopolymer sheet. He pulls plastic over the two and closes the machine's lid. Inside, a vacuum pulls the negative to the photopolymer. Intense ultraviolet light transfers the art to the photopolymer in seconds. He makes several photopolymer printing plates, each one a variation of the original artwork. They'll be used to layer pattern and color. Before they can print, they have to make the art stand out from the background. This machine removes the material surrounding the transferred images using a special chemical and a heavy-duty brush. Because the images were hardened during the exposure, they withstand the chemicals and abrasion. The process leaves the images slightly raised against a clear backdrop and ready for the printing press. They wrap the printing plates around cylinders. The press operator examines the seam under a magnifying glass to confirm that the edges are perfectly aligned. He loads the cylinder into the printing press. Then he pours yellow ink into a reservoir below and it's time to roll the printing press. Rollers transfer the ink to the printing cylinder and it prints the art onto adhesive-backed sticker paper. They use a different printing plate for each color to create variations in the design. As a result, each of these hearts ends up looking different. It's all about layering color and pattern to give the sticker artist plenty of options. Next, the press operator prepares a cutting cylinder. It cuts around the designs, but only penetrates the top layer of the sticker paper. Rollers pull off the surrounding material, then wind it up for recycling off-site. Only the stickers remain on the backing, but they aren't ready for the scrapbook just yet. It's over to another press, which hot stamps foil onto the designs. This process is carefully choreographed. A sensor on the press detects the hearts which are to be given the metallic finish. Those ones get shiny swirls, glossy ribbons or other trimmings, while others are left untouched. The next machine cuts the stickers into sheets. Then it's over to a packaging machine, where an operator loads the sheets into a hopper. Wheels with little grippers collect the sheets and drop them in piles of two onto a backer card. The packaging machine then wraps plastic film around the stickers and seals the package with a static charge. A hot knife then cuts and seals it at both ends. When it comes to sticker designs, there's no shortage of choices, giving sticker artists of all ages plenty of ways to express themselves.